Hello, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. For the full problem and the solution transcript, there will be a link in the description of this video. This week's problem was to provide a proof that E is irrational. Uh, there's a lot of proofs out there, um, but it's something that you should do or see once in your lifetime. So, um, also, this isn't going to be exactly a rigorous proof, um, but it'll be rigorous enough that you'll understand uh, what's happening. So, to do this, we're going to do a proof by contradiction. Which means that we're going to assume that E is rational. Or that there exists some uh, integers a and b such that a over b is equal to e. Uh, and to do this proof, we're going to use the power series notation for e, which is the sum from k equals to 0 to infinity of 1 over k factorial. And now what we're going to do is multiply both sides by b factorial. So on the left-hand side, we're going to have b fact factorial over b, which is just b minus 1 factorial. And this is equal to b factorial times the power series. Uh, and what we can do is bring this b factorial inside the sum. And then we're going to split up the sum. And we're going to go from k equals to 0 to b. So we just split up this factorial. Um, from 0 to b, and then from b plus 1 to infinity. And the reason why I did this is because this is going to be an integer. Since um, as long as b is greater than k, um, if you do b factorial over k factorial, all of the factors of k are going to be in b. So they'll cancel out, and we'll be left with integers. And the sum of integers is going to be an integer. So now what we have is we can subtract this from both sides. And we'll have a times b minus 1 factorial, which is an integer, minus the sum from 0 to b of b factorial over k factorial, which is also an integer, which means that this is going to be an integer, is equal to what's left of the in infinite sum, which is from b plus 1 to infinity. And since this is going to be greater than 0, we know that this is going to be a positive integer. And therefore, for this equality to hold, this is going to have to be a positive integer. Uh, and so what we have to do is show that this is not a positive integer, which means that this is false and therefore e is irrational. Uh, so if we write out the first th few um, terms of this, we have 1 over b plus 1 plus um, 1 over b plus 1 plus b plus 2 Uh, and so on. And what we're going to do is say that this is less than Uh, 
so what we did is we said that this sum, or these terms, each of these terms is going to be greater than this term, since um, b plus 1 times b plus 1 is going to be less than b plus 1 times b times, times b plus 2. Um, since it's the reciprocals, this is going to be larger than this, and so on, all the way on. Uh, that's what I mean by this is going to be rigorous. I'm not going to actually show that this is always greater. Um, just going to leave that to your intuition. And then we write it in uh, sum notation. Uh, and since this is a geometric sum, we can use this formula up here for the geometric sum and write it out more simply. And this is equal to uh, this, which simplifies to 1 over b. Uh, and since b is a integer, we're going to assume that b is greater than 1. Um, so that this is rational, which makes sense. Uh, therefore, we have um, so we have a positive integer on this side is less than 1 over b, which means that this is less than 1. Uh, and since there are no positive integers that are strictly less than 1, we have a contradiction. And therefore, uh, we have shown that um, e is irrational, which I don't have to write again. Uh, and that is one proof. There are many, many proofs out there. Um, so we encourage you to try a different way. Uh, send it to us, and we'll check it out for you. But that is this week's advanced knowledge problem of the week. Uh, to see more problems like this, you can click right here for a playlist. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. To go to the centerofmath.org, you can click there. And if you're on a mobile device, there is an I in the top right-hand corner of the screen with all of these same links. Thank you very much.